Channing 2 Mine, uh, Northern Cape of South Africa, Omiyot. Now, I'm not sure if this particular kind fluoresces. It's, it's almost a very light beige, a very uh, a whitish beige, quite unusual. I, I haven't actually seen a lot of this particular material. The Olmiat is usually a darker beige, going into a red, going into all various shades. But a very, very interesting form. I think, first of all, let's, let's focus on this edge here. We'll see the, the almost, um, well, cartwheels almost of the Olmiat forming together. And they are sandwiched in a, in a section of matrix, which would be a pretty low-grade manganese ore. So there you have the cover of the sandwich, there you have the cover of the sandwich. And as we go around, we get little, they, they form almost like botroids. Actually, this is also quite a pleasant. Uh, this is, I think on my still pictures, I only took one shot of this particular angle, which I find quite appealing. Actually, I only noticed that when I, when I cropped my, my still pictures. Quite lovely. Uh, not very large. It's uh, well about about four centimeters, just under two inches length to length. Of course, the width isn't that much. All the way from South Africa, Omiat, and I think this may very well fluoresce. Omiat usually fluoresces a a red to a dark, uh, a, a lighter to a darker red under short wave UV. I'd expect that this would also fluoresce. Different kind of Olmiat, so the, the almost, call it an albino Olmiat, I think that may be a good explanation.